Hey, um, hey, you know, just what do you think about the execution? Just kind of hanging in there down the stretch and uh, coming out with the win. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, obviously uh, on the one hand, I felt it was closer than it, it needed to be. Uh, on the other hand, we found a way. You know, we got some stops, got some rebounds, and you know, made plays. Obviously, James Johnson had a big three uh, free throws, and uh, Kevin made some big plays down the stretch. And James was great uh, most of the night. So. Uh, I thought everyone chipped in and, you know, held them the 49 in the second half. Steve, I don't think the arena was full capacity when they played here in, in March, whenever the last game was. I mean, what do you think of the atmosphere? It's a pretty heavy mix of both fans trying to drown each other out. You know, we know it's going to be a, a pro Knicks crowd. I mean, it's, the, the Knicks have been around for 75 years, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we, we understand that, and, and so it's an opportunity for our team to rise to the challenge and, and defend their home court. And uh, so I, I thought the atmosphere was great, though. It felt, uh, you know, it felt like, a, I don't know, a barn burner, like a big high school game or a big college game. It was a great atmosphere. And you talked about pregame. You want to see James in attack mode constantly. It seems like he did just that early on. Just, would you make it his game? And then it seems like Kevin, obviously, tough shooting night, but had it going when you needed him to, especially? Yeah, James obviously had a, an incredible start to the game and overall was 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 excellent. Um, Kevin wasn't himself for a lot of the night, but popped up in the in the fourth quarter and was great and and made some big plays. Also had nine assists, um, so he, he was you know huge for us down the stretch. See, what did you see early in the second half when you guys kind of uh, jumped out? I think it was a fourteen nothing run to start the third quarter. I thought our defense was outstanding. We challenged them at halftime to defend, and um, we thought 61 was too much in the first half, and I thought that the defense to start was fantastic, getting stops, getting turnovers, getting on running, getting open opportunities. So, um, you know, we, we talked about it. Our defense has got to pick back up, and it did in the second half. I think on Saturday, James Johnson was like the only reserve to play over, you know, 12, 15 minutes with 27. Now tonight, obviously, you only have Cam going over 21. I mean, you're short on bodies. You have to kind of lean on your main guys more. But it's just kind of what it is right now of you going eight, nine deep, and then maybe one or two guys will get a little more run off the bench than, than the rest? I think so. I mean, it's it's it might be someone different every night. Um you know, who, who knows uh, on that night which guy has a better matchup or is playing better or has it going. So, um, you know, that's that's something that I think we're going to we're going to see, you know, player nine, ten in, in the rotation, eight, nine, ten in the rotation, getting more or less minutes, different nights. And we're just going to have to do it by committee, I think, with uh, the injuries and absences.